YouTube, welcome back to another Genshin Impact reaction video. So sorry for coming uh, a bit late with the uh, special program reaction. Uh, I've been busy the whole day. But yeah, uh, welcome back to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. This one's half an hour long. For once, a 0.1 version uh, special program is not as long as I... Not as, not as long as uh, one to two hours. But you know. I appreciate the amount of work that the devs put into for all of us and for all of our entertainment as well. Because usually the point one updates are the anniversary updates, but it just so happened that for this year, the 5.0 update happens to fall on the anniversary. And speaking of said anniversary, I do believe that in one or two days time, depending on when not depending on when you guys are watching this, um Genshin Impact will be having its fourth year anniversary. Yeah, fourth year. That's crazy. So yeah, happy 4th year anniversary to Genshin Impact. And of course, you know, to all of the day one, day one players, <laughs> happy 4 years. I'll be joining you guys very shortly and uh, just add one more day to uh, the start of uh, Genshin Impact. <laughs> Fellow day 2 player here with severely underleveled characters, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> But anyways, without further ado, let us begin with the special program reaction. Let's see what Hoyo has in store for us now. I've had concerns Ooh. For a long time. Okay, jumping straight into the trailer. Needs too much time and too many things can go wrong. People are doubting the Pyro Archon. Interesting. The Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. Who is speaking this right is now? Hmm. The masters of the night wind. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. <gasps> oh, Shilonen. We're already off to a rocky start here. Oh, so that was Shilonen talking. Okay, okay, okay. Damn. Oh. Hey, yo. Oh, wow. Very flashy. Pyronosis. The Pyronosis has been shown. Hey, yo. All right, new boss. In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. Oh, okay. Truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you. Auroron, okay. Chaska, okay. The Fatui Mualani. Oh. Oh. Dude, the theme. Oh God. Oh God, the Abyssus invasion. Oh God. The rainbow destined to burn. Oh god, wait, no. Uh redemption code guys. Redemption codes will still be valid as of time of upload, so uh, if you guys haven't already, please remember to go and redeem them. Uh they expire in a few hours. So yeah, if you guys are watching this like after I upload this, like immediately after, yeah, uh, you guys will be uh <sighs> Oh my god. Oh things are boiling over in Natland. This is this is interesting. I am very interested to see where this goes. Um, obviously, no spoilers, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's hmm. Seems like another confrontation with the captain is in store, and something that Mavika is hiding from us. So I wonder what that could be. But it seems like we're finally meeting the rest of the cast for Natlin. Uh like the ones that were shown in the uh in the initial trailer. <gasps> oh it's our little guy. Hello, 
travelers, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. Hey. My name is Gabe, and I'm from the Genshin Impact localization team. And I'm Kai, I'm also from the Loke team, and will be your host for today's program. Mm. We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest update. I'm Ooh. pretty stoked about what's coming in okay, version okay. 5.1. Totally. I'm sure that everyone else is just as excited to find out about the new update. All right, so uh, in case uh, people, because I do know that people have been uh, talking about this, which is uh, the, which is the fact that like you know, for quite a few of the uh, previous uh, Hoyo trailers, like not just the special program of course, but for a few of the previous trailers, uh, of course, as you guys seen with my reactions to um, not just Genshin Impact's trailer but also Honkai Star Rail's trailers that uh, the act that what we've been seeing is the Japanese voice actors and uh, that is wholly in due to the fact that there's currently an ongoing strike uh, the voice actors are currently having a strike um, with the they're associated with SAC F Aftra, hopefully I'm not pronouncing that wrong, Sag Aftra, and so they're having this uh, current uh, strike uh, due to ongoing, uh, I believe it's to seek protections for against the use of AI with the training of their, like the protections for the voice actors against the use of AI for their voices. And uh, one of the companies that uh, is involved is one that Hoyoverse contacts to, uh, is one that Hoyoverse contacts to, you know, do all the voice acting in English. Which is why that if you guys have noticed in the past few um, trailer reactions that I've been doing, um, those have all been in Japanese because uh, they do not have the. English voice, like the voice actors can't record for Hoyo. And so, yeah, it makes sense why this special program is being uh, narrated or at the very least being presented to us by uh, internal members of Hoyoverse who probably are working really, really hard um, finding alternatives, uh, especially in the face of the strike. So, yeah, uh, good for Hoyoverse for being able to churn this out despite the strike going on. I believe it probably did come as a surprise to many people that a lot of people that uh, were not seeing familiar faces here, like notwithstanding even the uh, the uh, Dawei and his team. So yeah, uh, they're trying their best. So yeah, I respect that. And I hope that the strike gets resolved soon hopefully the actors all the voice actors get their um get their rights get their protections and everything because uh yeah it's only right for it's only right that they get their due protections and yeah anyways just wanted to clarify um of course i'm not a professional in this but i can link some things down in the description for you guys to to read up on a little bit just so that you guys um, have some understanding as to what's going on but yeah if you can uh, do support the voice actors as well that have been affected by uh, the strikes because the strikes means you're not working so they probably need a little bit of that moolah yeah <laughs> I'm talking a little bit out of my ass but uh, for the most part I believe what I've said is correct uh, so yeah uh, I will link the SAG Astra, um, the website in the description for you guys to be able to read up on the strike. And anyways, let's continue on. Sorry for rambling. Then let's give Update 5.1. Let's go. First up, Shilonen will be our new playable character in version 5.1. All right, Shilonen. Well, 
Shonen has a lot going on. Beth Curry. Where should we start? Fyrus yeah. Eye. We should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith. I, I will say though that the music for 5.1, the trailer, was absolutely amazing. Jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. You name it, and she'll Ouch. make it. Okay, cool. yeah. We've already seen nice. some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill turbo twirly. Oh. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Wait, she created oh, wow. Kachina's she little mount? So many creations. That's cool. Yeah, and they're all really varied. She commends so much respect in Natland, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. Mm. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, yeah. Was that her idol that we saw? The uh, DJ spinning like spinning the record on the table? Because that looks really cool. She to music during her work breaks. And the musical beats help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. They're pretty handy. Wow, Damn. it seems like her skill set is really convenient. Mm -hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Great. All right. Ooh, she's seen her night soul splicing oh. attire. Cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. she can climb walls? Climbing looks so easy. Yeah. By roller she skating on the walls, the that's... Of her climb and taking the surrounding oh, view. okay, nice. that's really cool. That is really cool. That For sure. Damn. Oh no! When she no, finds don't hit the beetle! She immediately springs into action. Okay, she's actually pretty cool. Ooh. That tiger she's transformation? Was that... Oh, it's the cheetah Speaking transformation. Let's discuss her Was it a leopard? Mechanics. I keep forgetting Shilonen the two. Uses special equipment in combat. Because of the tail. See those three objects next to her? They look like gems, right? Well, hmm. those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, those are super shiny. They really Interesting. suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default, but their element will change when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters to your party. Oh, example, okay. If Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro damage. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. how do you activate the sampler? That's interesting. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. Mm. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, I think I understand her kit now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at least two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters in your party. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her Night Soul points. <laughs> oh, wow. Exactly. <laughs> These uh, skills allow how? her to reduce multiple types of Ooh. elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen Damn, that's also cool. works in teams okay. with multiple Geo characters. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Shilonen also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. When Shilonen is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Wait. Shilonen's elemental burst Yo. AOE Geo damage. Wait, that's and actually pretty dope. If she has dope. two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. Huh? All right, that's all we have. Wait, 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 wait. That's yeah. actually pretty good. Oh, Yo. I mentioned something important. What is it? <laughs> ancient names. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient names. Dude, forging. wait. Pyro she seems to be a very cracked character. Ancient name for the traveler. Ancient but we'll see. We'll 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 see her. Zero, we'll see it's when amazing. she can force in game. Like yeah. Exactly. Natland cherishes its ancient names. 
New Tribal Chronicles, okay. Recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1. Nanatskayan, okay. And ancient name forging. And just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo gems and nice. materials by completing Shilonen's Tribal Chronicle during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the traveler, at the nice. end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound <gasps> Okay, so difficult. Act 3, <laughs> Act 4. Yeah. The traveler is an outlander. So, so beyond the smoke and mirrors and rainbow destined to burn. Those so those two acts that will be coming out. Pretty, pretty oh, I am so yeah. nervous. <laughs> I have goosebumps. Oh god, that's During bad. The version oh. 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We'll also hmm. get the chance to meet Sitlali. From the oh yes, yeah, Sitlali as well. Her tribe <gasps> is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub. So she might be able to turn the tides in our favor. Yes, is she drunk? Of course. The traveler's <laughs> ancient name won't be the only. <laughs> she looks so derpy. Yo. Remains, and it seems like Aurora, a mysterious member of the Masters of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. We're meeting in the game. Let's so go. <laughs> Travelers can also earn extra primo gems from this Archon quest. Oh, right? yes. You're exactly right. Just like in Dude, Aurora looks point so out, cool. Yo. 500 primo gems if they complete the Natlan Archon quest Act Yo. 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. But that's not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring. Oh yeah, I read about this. The limited time error exploration rewards. Extra primo nice. Gems by completing related world quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. Travelers who already that is base. That is base. Progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards during the new version. But don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. Oh, that means lifesaver. Version 5 Absolute lifesaver. That damn. Satisfy the conditions and claim the rewards. Yeah. Can we expect similar rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates? You bet. Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Netland areas. Yes. Each time a new that is amazing. Is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That is amazing. That way, Goddamn. should have <laughs> enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. Each version comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. Nice. You should give the travelers an example. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. Oh, okay. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture phlogiston aphids. Oh. It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corrupted by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. This looks wow, like some. Safe from abyssal corrosion? This looks Man, interesting. Like really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, abyssal the energy seeping out, huh? Reversible. Start by unleashing attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net to break their shields. Once the surrounding shields are down. Travelers can purify oh. the abyssal energy inside. <laughs> Wait, them. yo. Elsewhere in that land, travelers the little, can enter the little cannon that can each shot out. A secret source automaton <gasps> that was left behind by a lost civilization. The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. Ooh. If you manage to beat this new boss, then you can earn special materials. So this I is for Shalonen. would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably essential <laughs> materials then. Okay. Fair enough. We introduced our new character and the new boss. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. Oh yes, please. The, the event wishes. Shilonen and Chiori. Shilonen okay, okay. Chiori. So Geo characters align. Peak Patrol song will be featured on oh. the weapon banner. Okay, that's and really the cool. Half of version 5.1. Nahida and Hu Tao. Oh my god. Yes. Oh wow. Hu Tao getting a Hu Tao getting a rerun. Not expecting that. Nahida. Oh god. <laughs> Damn. All right. Time for our first break. See you soon, travelers. See you soon. All right. Thank you. All right. Second redemption code is up on the screen. Uh, for those of you guys that haven't <laughs> I 
I cannot speak. But yeah, for those of you guys that are that are watching this as it as the video goes up, uh, of course, all of these are still up and available for redemption. So you guys will be able to redeem them uh, for a limited amount of time as of time of upload. So yeah. Be sure to get all of your 300 Primo Gems if you guys haven't done so already. And yeah. Ooh, okay. The new version is looking to be pretty filled with content. Of course, we love content here, but I am also pretty interested in seeing what else uh, will be coming, of course. But yeah. Hopefully you guys are having a great day ahead and we'll see. Oh, okay. Welcome back, travelers. I'm All right, sure we're back. Everyone can figure out where we're at. We're back in Sumeru. Yeah, in Sumeru okay. City. Things are looking really festive. That's because we're celebrating Nahida's birthday in 5.1. <gasps> Oh, oh still how kept repeating during the arc that's why she's season. coming back. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Surastana. <gasps> right, and Nahida's character teaser was. Oh, so I remember that. Especially during that oh. third instance of when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. The mm. sudden change of music was so the pain, the pain from two years really ago. Goddamn. Exposing the academia and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, right? Yeah. <gasps> My so God, we're finally. One event, chromatic oh, of and roses, travelers will get the chance to give. Oh, Nahida this is gonna be such an amazing update, yo. <laughs> All right, finally. We're celebrating yeah, Nahida's actually, birthday I after two years. That I can share with everyone. <gasps> do you want to take us? My heart, my heart, it's so full. Yeah, let's do it. Um, whoa, that's a lot. <gasps> oh, it looks a lot like of familiar faces. something. This year, the Academia is organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past Everyone's got it together. Plus, the That's going to be amazing. Bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise. The Sumeru get together. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. <laughs> so don't give it away, Travis. Everyone looks so cute together. The carriage is another important part of Subzeru's festival. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off without a hitch. Coffee! That's for so nice on. And the Traveler will serve as the Knight of Flowers during the real <gasps> as It's a self-fulfilling prophecy! Wow, Let's go! So like we, we're reenacting yeah, the trailer, like the teaser. In the final festival. part of the we teaser. Oh my god. Wait, that's so cute! Be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. It's oh time to make no, I have a feeling this is gonna make me cry. <laughs> no, okay. May this event not make me cry. I think it might. I felt really bad for Nikita when after everything went down in Sumeru. The goal is to control oh. the direction of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect blessings along the way All right. and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. Oh, so it's like nice. Subway surface event, or like Temple Run. Okay. Dreams, travelers will gotcha. Enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams and fix them. Oh, so okay. It's like a spot the difference game. That's sort of okay. <laughs> In the Interesting. Event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase your performance Ooh. level and earn buffs <laughs> by satisfying special conditions. All right, the so challenge. it's a combat event. Uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha, ha. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Looks like someone's excited for the Subzerus Festival. I hope travelers feel the same way. Hey, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Ooh. Oh, cool. Each challenge comes Another with a combat class. event. All right. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regimen Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. 
Each mm. challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. Oh, you can give everyone! Your team an by oh, it's a co-op. Okay. The specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. Interesting. <laughs> okay. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Invisage Diacos challenges will also be added in version 5.1. Travelers will now be able to obtain echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, Zhongli's Ooh. echo is really cool. Keqing's echo is also beautiful. She leaves a trail of flowers behind her. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement for our other updates. During version 5.1, a few oh, Chiori is going to be in TCG. Invocation TCG. I like how I say that, even though like I have stopped TCG after a long, long time ago. Is absolutely packed with events. There's even the Aphid Treasure Trace event. But damn, good for the TCG the players, of course. That's not all. There's an old we oh, my back, my back. Oh, my back. Ouch, ouch. That's right. Lee oh, Lee Ben is back. Version 5.1. Just like always, Ooh. travelers can exchange their items for primo gems okay, okay. and level up materials. I even heard that Natlin's specific materials will be available during his latest Oh, that's visit. lovely. Awesome. Absolutely lovely. That should be all for the version 5.1 events. That means it's about time for our second break. You got it. We'll be right back, travelers. All right. Thank you. Oh, not the bloody teaser music, but slow it down and in a happier tone. Oh, guys, this is if if there's anything that I'm excited for in this update apart from like that is event related, it would be this. It would be this. I spent. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm of course unashamed of being a whale, but back when I used to spend money for Genshin, I pulled for Nahida because after everything that she went through. She needed to be on my team, and holy shit. She is the best. Okay, in my opinion, the best Archon so far. So, yeah, travelers. must it's protect the little bean. Alright. First up, a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. Ooh. This change allows you to skip Floor 9 in the new update if you obtain full stars on Ooh. Floor 11 of the previous Spiral Abyss. Obtaining full stars on Floor 12 will allow you to skip both Floor 9 and Floor 10. Hopefully hey, yo. this change will create a smoother experience. That sounds okay. so convenient. So it's yeah, I know, right? interesting. Just as okay. a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor rewards such as domain reliquaries will be distributed automatically when you open the spiral Ooh, abyss interface. Not bad, not bad. In addition, you can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice. We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah. Continuing with more optimization. Wow. The filtering not bad. and sorting logic of the character artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters. That's so a that time saver, definitely, for all of time. the people you that we're going to be doing the abyss. I should probably get started on doing the abyss, not gonna lie. I do need to build up my characters first, character. though. Totally. The character ascension Interesting. Will also be optimized in version 5.1. You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. Oh, will also be added to the oh that's useful. That allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. This will allow you to easily view and craft the number of materials oh. that you need. Now Ooh. you don't have to calculate the required materials and Ooh. quantities in advance. You can do all of that at the crafting Wait, that's bench. actually pretty useful. Version 5.1 will also be adding other small optimizations. Damn, okay, okay. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. All right, travelers. Some of not you bad, not bad. Noticed. Holy shit. Attention Impact turns four years old tomorrow. Yeah. We've had an incredible journey so far, right? Let's see where this path has taken us. It's time the six to out of the seven archons are together. <gasps> oh, what is this? Oh, an animation. Oh, ether. 
Windblade! Oh, it's all the grunts that he does. That's so cool. Zach's getting paid. <laughs> Sorry, overused joke, but I love my overused jokes. Passing memories. Oh. Oh. Oh no, wait, no. The music. Oh. All the way back in Monstat. Not the music. No, I swear to god. No. Everyone that we've met on our journey. Back in the uh... Oh, half then. So, oh, my God. I'll hate them, shut up. You look a child, of course. Finding Skara, Risley, Father. Oh, more animation. Animation's so sick, yo. Pedro. No, no, not rule. <sighs> Take Nari's story quest, Yara Nara. Oh, Take your story quest, Nervalet. Oh, coming. Kazuha. Oh, Nahida, you and me a story quest. Fossilor's death. Oh, Monstat, Anton Wright. Oh. All the archons. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually getting teary. Wait, no. <laughs> Absolutely foul, bro. Absolutely foul. You got this, Ether. Oh. Oh. Oh! Here's to four years of Genshin Impact. Here's to four hey, years, birthday. everybody. <laughs> wow! It's wow! Already been four years. Where's the time gone? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. Yeah. There's that fight against Storm Terror. Oh the my God! The Jake Chamber. Nikita <laughs> saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka. No. The we don't talk Dory. about that. I God know. damn. And I'm definitely gonna have that <laughs> song on repeat. That's exactly oh. what I did with the <laughs> Natland Symphony performance. It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first OST album, <gasps> Land of Play Ayatl, is about to be released. Let's go. The album contains three discs featuring 78 <sighs> original tracks composed That's by not okay Impact. after Yay, that. God damn it. <laughs> finally add Natland's recent soundtrack to our playlist. Yes. Uh. All right. Hmm. 
that looks like all the information we have absolutely today. foul that last bit for the special program to absolutely me. foul is there anything you want to say before we leave yeah for sure well i think there's so much cool content coming in this version and hey come on fourth anniversary that's so huge indeed yeah. i mean we've put so much work into this game over the years and every version has been special but i gotta say 5.0 5.1 these have been great exactly i mean seriously yep. genshin impact is is not only a game to me is my work <laughs> it's my life right i play genshin impact every day I talk about against an impact every day. And I of course. With online. It's all these years. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. Totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly grateful that you guys, our players, are continue playing this game. And yeah. we're just as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game. Awesome. Yeah. No, totally agree. That's so great. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye. Aww. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years. Hope to see you in game. Thank Bye, you everybody. all so Bye. much. Uh, God damn. Dude, that last part was absolutely foul. <laughs> oh. It really has been four years, hasn't it? Oh my god. Oh, there you go. The fourth anniversary theme song. Passing Memories by Fauzia. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. All the memories of the past four years. <laughs> All of the hours grinding for that bloody RNR quest. <laughs> Uh, good memories guys good memories absolutely good memories god damn god damn God damn. All the different moments from the past four years. All the different events and everything. The first monster, Satcha the Seven, Rue's quest. I forgot her name, but that was a very sad quest. Tignari's story quest, the r, &R quest, that place in the U.S. that I keep forgetting the name of. <laughs> Help. Oh, Sinyun. Coming. Dude! That's oh, right. The ending of the U.S. Archon quest. The Zuma's Archon quest. Oh. Ciao. The ending of the Sumeru Archon quest. Yoimiya second story quest. <sighs> Masquerade of the Guilty. <laughs> One of the very first trailers in the game. Whose name I forgot. The ending of Monstat. <laughs> Lantern Rite. <laughs> Makoto. Ah. God damn. The music! The vocals! God damn. God damn. Ether, you're going great, honey. I assume this final bit is probably a testament to how now we're in that land. So, because of that, you know, my request got all back now. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you all so much for the support you guys have shown this channel for showing me. 
even all the way over on Twitch for the last how long have I been doing this for? <laughs> or the last like when did I start? Oh, that's a very good question. For like the last one and a half years or so, it has been an absolute honor to be able to play Genshin Impact. Thank you so much to all of you that have decided to stick with me through everything. Um, of course, notwithstanding you guys, of course, the dev team of Hoyoverse, the dev team for Genshin Impact, for Star Rail, for creating amazing games. Ever since I started streaming the... Ever since I started streaming the Sumeru Archon Quest on Twitch all the way back at like 3.0? 3.1-ish? Yeah. All the way back then. It's amazing to see how much the game has grown over the past two years. And as a player that has played all the way back from version 1.0, can I just say that it's been an amazing ride over the past four years or so. And I'm really, really happy to have Genshin Impact be one of my biggest time sinks ever. Because I've enjoyed every step of the way. And I hope that to you guys that are playing, hopefully you guys enjoy Genshin as much as I do. And I hope that you guys... I've had an amazing journey. You guys managed to take something away from it. Because <laughs> I know I've taken many things away from Genshin Impact. And I really want to say thank you to everyone who has continued with me on this journey over the past two years or so. It has been an amazing ride. And I will... <laughs> oh, wait, no. Uh, my tears. <laughs> It's been an amazing ride to be able to share with you guys. And I hope that if we do continue to grow, if our community continues to grow, that we'll be able to spread more love, more kindness into the world, like what Genshin Impact has managed to do for me. And I hope that... I hope that... Together, we'll be able to accomplish great things. It's just the hope for the future, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for being here. All of this means so much to me. The fact that people click on my videos to even just check me out even for one second. It just thank you all so, so much. And... I appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for this amazing journey over the past two years. For to see you guys on Twitch. <laughs> for to see you guys on YouTube, I think you guys will be able to see all of my progress over the past one and a half years, I think, or like half a year. I can't remember when I started uploading. But yeah, I think over the past few months or so, it's it's been a long ride. Wow. Yeah, it's it's been a long ride. And I just want to say thank you all so, so much for supporting me, for being here. Especially to those of you guys that subscribed from day one. Thank you all so much for being here. And I just wanted to say thank you all so, so much. You guys are the best. And I hope you guys have a great day ahead. <laughs> Excuse me before I go. Ball. My eyes out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will be playing Kitchen Impact when version 5.1 comes out, of course. And I, I hope that you guys will join me on that journey too. To the four years of Genshin Impact that I've been playing and for the roughly one and a half to two years of streaming. Thank you all so much for joining me. And to those of you guys on YouTube who've probably known me for lesser than that amount of time. Thank you all so much for being here with me. And I hope to see you around when I do start playing 
um, when I do start playing Natlands uh, 5.1 Hour Conquest. And I hope to see you guys there with me. So thank you all so, so much for coming. And I hope that you guys have a great day ahead whenever, wherever you're watching this. And happy for your anniversary to Genshin Impact. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now and have a great one, y'all. Bye-bye.